you can see for yourself here how organized chaos is and how he goes about things. Yeah. Just how, like he doesn't even do that much in the book. It, give me some basic character motivations. Like, oh, why does he? No, I'm not. No, have you, if you, have you read, let me ask you this. Have you read the book? Yes. All right. So you read the book. So you what what specific action are you talking about in terms of you're asking why he's motivated to do it? What action did he do that you're asking why he was motivated to do? Well, what what like what does like I'm asking about character motivations. Why does he do anything he does in that book at all? Everybody like, does. Everybody. That's your basic what, human action. Nobody's what, what, a robot. What, everybody does certain things depending on how they process. Yes. Information. Yeah. Char- characters have drive. They have uh, ideas like what? Like, why is he doing what he's doing? What's driving him drive? <laughs> as far as what? Give me a specific anything. Action. Give me, like, pick your own no, no, example no, no, and not, give it I'm to me. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not giving you anything. Give, give uh, me an example. Have, I'll tell like, you what. If you here, I'll give you an example. Why, like, you've read Amazing Fantasy number 15, right? So, again, remember, Organized Chaos thing is, if you don't know this book, you're not really a comic book fan. So, he's putting an assumption also to some degree that people aren't as much a comic book fan as, as he is, even though he said he's, like, moderate. He's not really a comic book fan. This is what Organized Chaos has said. He says it during the stream, of course. I mean, yes, it's good to inform people, but and not to try to uh, frame this in a way that, you know, Organized Chaos is a fucked up person, but it's it feels kind of fucking silly, man. If you are meaning what you say when you say that you have to know this book or you're not really a comic book fan, you can't really talk comics or whatever, and it just it's it sits kind of weird with me. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about go back to Isom. What what about it? Are you asking? Uh, what specific, wait wait um, you you've read ama- act- you you've read Amazing what Fantasy number fifteen action? right? You don't do this. You don't do this. You, that you can't really bother with something that was brought up that you maybe had even engaged originally on your own. You can't really do this where you just jump, because you were asking about character motivations and you couldn't get the answer that you wanted or your question wasn't good enough and you don't really understand that, so you try to move on because you're frustrated. You know, to try to make it that, you know, you don't even bother with the thing that you brought up in the first place uh, to try to move on and think that Eric should just succumb to that, like, that's dummy shit. Don't do that. What specific action are you asking uh, pertaining no, to? No, 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 no. I'm going to get stuck on this one. You've read Amazing Fantasy number 15, right? Are you, what? Let's talk about Isom. You just asked me a question. Let's keep quit moving the goalpost. Look at his face. This is, this is genuine for him. I'm thinking. Okay, now if this is the case where he's not just over-exaggerating himself, which he is, if you ask me, if this is genuine, it's like, this isn't anything. (laughs) You are openly uh, trying to move past that thing you brought up, and you're trying to force something else in there in that way where you don't have to address something because now there's a new topic. You can't do that. That's not how this works it's not how you should be doing that that's first of all again it's rude okay (laughs) Uh, and secondly it's just don't do it it is dummy shit it's you didn't discover anything right you are embarrassing yourself because you don't carry out you know the line of questioning that you started like you you got to this point you need to resolve it and you are going about it lazy i guess i don't know uh, maybe brainless? I don't know what the word is exactly. You're going about it in a way where you're, you know, negligent of the atmosphere, uh, negligent of just, uh, you know, how you look, respect, and all that other stuff um, to do with, you know, the other person and vice versa, and all those other things. You you should not be doing this. Um, what specifically about the... And he's saying, is chat just told him it's a Spider-Man book. But all someone did was say... Oh, it's Spider-Man's first comic, of course. That's not them informing Eric. Maybe Eric sees this, but that's not them informing Eric. If And if that's the intention of Fair Play, then I don't know what Fair Play thinks is going on exactly. I don't think he's seeing Eric's chat. I don't think he's looking at Eric's chat. He's got this screen recording going, 
if he were to record Eric's chat at the time of, of the stream, his, his stream would be frozen almost completely the entire time. You should see how this guy operates half the fucking time. I saw a book is pertaining to like an action that you're asking about his motivations. Dude, have you read Amazing Fantasy number 15? All right, this isn't a gotcha. Can you please answer the question pertaining to Ice? It so kind of fucking not... is. You're talking about being a comic book fan. You... Can you please answer the question? I am. What what comic book fan hasn't read Amazing Fantasy number 15? Holy shit. Do you know what Amazing Fantasy 15 plenty, is? There are plenty of people that don't Do like you know what Amazing you're, Fantasy you're asking, 15 is? There are plenty of people that know that don't know who Spider-Man is, dipshit. We know that Spider-Man is in the uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15. That's not okay. a catch. That's not a guy. Have you gun. read it? All of, hey, hey, jackass. I'm asking you pertaining to Isom. Let's focus. You didn't have a gotcha. You thought you had and everybody knows. And even if they didn't know, that doesn't stop them from being a comic book fan. Spider-Man is not the only comic book fan. In fact, it's retarded in order to insist that just because someone didn't read a Spider-Man book, that means that they're not a, a comic book fan. There are other comic books you would agree, right? Yeah. You would agree that there's other comic books, right? All right, so because there's other comic books, you cannot say, oh, you're a comic fan. You haven't read Amazing Sp uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15. If I didn't read it, it wouldn't stop me from being a comic book fan. Look at this total fucking man-child. Look at him. He doesn't un even understand what conversation he's even having. He even doesn't even understand what conversation he's even fucking having. Let's assume that someone started reading Spider-Man in the Ultimate Universe when it first came out in like year 2000 or, or, or whatever. Let's let's assume that that was the first Spider-Man book that they read and they read all the Ultimate Comics line of Spider-Man then. They would just as much be a Spider-Man or a comic book fan even if they didn't read the freaking origin story of Spider-Man and what you're referring to. You thought you had a gotcha like, oh, I think I got him now. He hasn't read uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15, Jackass. I've read it, but even if I didn't, that's not a problem. Now let's get back to ISOM. What specifically are you asking pertaining to ISOM in regards to his motivation? Is there a specific action that you're asking and what you're asking, why does he do it? Give me a specific, and you've read the book, so give me a specific action. I just, I can't. I'm I'm just trying to figure out how you could possibly call yourself a comic book fan and, thought, and at least not be familiar with what happens in Amazing Fantasy number fifteen. That's just uh, the reason right, I chose well, that's, that. That's your is just because right, that's everybody your knows that one. No, I am no everybody. Hey, but I am not, not absolutely everybody. stunned. Hey, what? You, uh, then you think that everybody likes? Do you think everybody that reads comics likes Spider Man? Uh, probably so by, not. By I'm by probably not course, everybody, but probably a large portion. All right, so that that you let me see how stupid your position is. There are so many different comic books out there. There's manga, there's uh, other Western comic books like French comic books and all that, and people kind of stick to their lane right there. By your nonsensical non-argument, right? It's illogical. It is very very stupid. You're suggesting that someone's not a comic fan because they didn't read the Spider-Man uh, first. I, I am literally so naming stupid. like the most famous comic book, probably possibly ever. Maybe, maybe and that, Superman and, number and one. That's fine. But shit, and, and that's fine. action comics. But that, but. That's fine, but not everybody reads every book. No, some people don't. No, even but like I think it's interesting how you didn't even like. Here's the deal. Like, even if you haven't read it, you should pretty much know the basic story of Amazing Fantasy number 15. It's like right. well, it, the it most knows, famous comic book story ever. But again, some people don't like that. This is why it's a non point. Some people don't even like Marvel. This is a hell of a point. Holy shit. Oh, my. No, it's not a point. It's a non point. Do, all right, so, are you, all right, do you think that people, everybody reads Marvel comics? I, I, probably a lot. I, I don't. I mean, I didn't ask I you mean, that. I asked you, do you think everybody reads Marvel? There's comics? plenty of people who don't. Do you think everybody reads Isom? All right. So, all right. So, if everybody doesn't read Marvel comics, right? And you said there's plenty of people who don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why on earth would you rest being a comic book fan on the origin of a Marvel character? I just I find it shocking that anybody who would call themselves a comic book fan, dude, you called you yourself a comic book fan, and you haven't read Amazing Fantasy fifteen or at least looked I into it. I didn't. I never said I didn't read it. I never oh, said I didn't read it. I'm down. saying that it's you irrelevant. Shut down. You're... So have you read it? Uh, what? 
Have you read it? Yes, I have read it. Oh, okay. Yes. So why 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 did it take you so long to answer then? It didn't take me so long to answer it. I am saying that's irrelevant to the point that I made. Because it really sounded like you had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. I mean, come on. <laughs> why why does he go this route? It's like he only cares to act how he wants regardless. There's no consideration for the company that he has here with him, right? And it's even if you don't agree with that person, right? There should be considerations paid, right? If you're having a debate and stuff, right? Because you want to talk a, a thing out, right? You're going back and forth. And you got frustrated earlier because you couldn't get the answer that you wanted or an answer at all. So what you decide to do is is bulldoze over again the thing that you brought up doing that thing. You bulldoze over try to ask something else, and you should be answering the question that you you know you should be doing things in a way where you can actually get to the bottom of something, and you're not making it easy on yourself. Trying because you if you're trying to have these these sorts of debates be productive, and then you have people on the same guests later. And shit, right? I mean, maybe you you know you don't care to do that, but then why do this in the first place? Again, I'll, I'll reiterate as as before. I'll reiterate that uh, organized chaos and actual fandom have both said that their channels exist now in part to give people a hard time, and they want to complain about uh, harassment and things and and crowds going after people, and they ignore all the shit that they do. They don't know what they're doing or saying. They don't listen to the people that they talk to, and they have no considerations for things. And if you're trying to uh, to swoon people with the idea that you can be bipartisan on, on things, then you need to make sure that you, you have an opportunity that you tried your best to be able to have a conversation again, because clearly you guys disagree on things. Uh, why are you killing this for yourself? You shouldn't do it just because you can, right? Or because it's a fun idea, there should be a reason for that. There should be a good reason. If you're not doing that, then there's no reason to do it. So don't do it. Well, you're retarded. I've covered Amazing Fantasy 15 on my channel. So you're stupid. Objectively speaking, I've covered it. I've covered its origin. Everybody knows that like Spider-Man, which I, I consider myself a fan, understands that what Amazing Fantasy, they understand uh, him first getting his spider suit in, in, in that. They understand him wrestling in it. They understand uh, him getting bit by the freaking spider, getting the powers in the first place. They understand why he becomes a hero because Uncle Ben gets shot and killed. Everybody that reads Spider-Man knows that. So you have to understand something, right? Organized Chaos made the point to go, oh, his chat told him, mentioned to him that it's a Spider-Man comic. Why would you bring it up on the screen and then also still have it included? You didn't try to edit it out or whatever, where he explains what happens, right, in the book. So it doesn't matter uh, that someone mentioned that it's a Spider-Man book and shit, because he just went over the details. You added that for no reason other than, oh, the people may not, they may not realize what's happened here, right? <laughs> like, they don't have memory. Like, you're, you're going to do one thing and then later do something different, and it's like... You think on it, about that, you know, even when you're up to this point where you're seeing the dudes listing out details, like there's no, there's no point to mentioning that someone mentioned that it's Spider-Man's not or whatever, right? There's no point to mentioning that at all because you show here still in your fucking own video that he actually does explain what happens in the book. So there's no reason to do that other than you either have no respect for the audience or you think that they have a bad attention span or memory or whatever. You don't know what you're doing and it's, it's frighteningly stupid of you. <laughs> It's not a secret, but what I am saying is completely irrelevant to the point that we're talking about ice on, because even if I didn't read it, it doesn't stop me, number one, from being a comic book fan, because I don't reject manga fans being comic book fans because they don't like Marvel or DC. Back to Isom. Now, you, I, I already explained to you. I just explained to you what happened in uh, in, in the book. So let's yeah. continue on to Isom. I what think, are you I think so, you're the. I you're, think you're oh, the one I'm that shocked. just wikied some so, stuff. I'm so, I'm so shocked. I, I, I can't. I can't believe that dipshit. We've already covered it on the channel. Now let's get back to Isom. What specifically in regards to his actions? Have you yeah. read Isom? Yeah. Have you read Isom? Yeah, you've asked okay, that sometimes. You yeah, yeah. I, All right, I've so totally you've read, read it. Times. What? What well, now, action? now, now I'm kind of curious. What are some of your favorite? No, 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 no. Let's get no, 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 no. This, okay. this isn't one of those things where I like answer all these questions and you don't get to answer anything. Let's okay. talk about okay. you and your. Fair what, enough. What specifically about Fair the book? Enough. What specifically about the book are you asking about? All right. So I was asking. Did you just? I had to put up with this for five hours one day. Okay.
I had to talk to this thing for five hours one day. It just, it just, it... Stop Fair the enough. book. What specifically? Are you... well, look at this. Look at this. Thing. Let's okay, talk about okay. you. And your own... Fair enough. What specifically about Fair the enough. book? What was? All right. The second. Fair enough. The gestures and shit. And he does the thing where he strokes his his beard chin. What is going on with this guy? Specifically about the book, are you asking about? All right. So I was asking to just give me a character motivation for Isom. Why does okay, he go? So why does he look for Jasmine? Because his sister asked to ask him to do it. All right. So why does he say yes? Because he he cares about his family, specifically considering that this is a family friend, and he knows that his mother would chew his ass out in the event that that's all explained in the text. So he's literally just looking for this girl because his mom would chew him out if he didn't. Yes, that's a motivation. He cares about his so, family and how he. No, that doesn't sound like he cares about his family. It sounds like he cares about his ass. Well, his out. Who, all right. So his sister is the one that asked him to do this. Okay. Right? He cares enough about his family, his sister, to even take this on. And he understands that, look, his other family member, his own mother, would chew him out in the event that he did not help this family friend who is a part uh, of his life. He understands that. So that's why he goes on the journey in the first place. So he's, And that's he's, all explained in the text. Like yeah. what I did isn't even implied. It's all explained in the text. So if his you've actually whole read it. motivation. Are you sure you read it? Yeah, yeah, I have. It's quite okay. boring. So why did you um, ask me that question? Because I want to see if you could define anything, and it's really shallow. Well, like, well, what I just, like, well, wait a minute. What, what, I, what I like, just define? What I what just I'm, define? All right, I'm, I'm like, you're, bit, you're just saying yeah. he wants to do things because other people are telling him to do things. But what does Isom want? I just told you what Isom wanted. What do you mean? You asked me. You asked me why he did it, and that's why he. That's why he took on this mission. But what does Isom want? Because here, I'll go back to he what wants, I was talking about. Amazing Fancy 15. Why does Spider-Man go into that wrestling ring? I just explained to you. I just explained to you. You haven't read it, I so you don't know. You... I do not. Look, Jack. We need Look, Jack. We need Look, Jack. We need Look, Jack. We know. We know he was trying to get money. We know that he was trying to get money to help his family. So I decided to look into this. Organized Chaos is saying that Ripa is wrong, that it's for personal glory and other things. So this panel, these panels come just after the dude runs off with some valuables. The cop basically gives Spider-Man a hard time. Spider-Man says, you know, I got things to do, man. So he remarks a few times throughout the comic up to this point, Peter does, that his guardians are some of the kindest people to him and in his life, if not the kindest, and he loves them to death. So it says, Peter, you know that microscope you've always wanted? Your uncle and I bought it for you this afternoon. Gosh, that's terrific. You're the greatest family any fella ever had. And in his head, he's thinking, they're the only ones who've ever been kind to me. I'll see to it that they're always happy, that the rest of the world can go hang for all I care. So at this point, because of events leading up to this point, uh, he's decided that he's going to do whatever he feels like he's, you know, he wants to do or whatever, right? So because that's his take, what he's planning on doing, uh, he's going to do whatever he feels like. He's probably going to explore the landscape of ideas and opportunities where he can make, you know, a greater amount of money uh, to buy like a, a large house for the people that, uh, love him the most and vice versa so i'm thinking that ripa off the top of his head when having to think back on the book amazing fantasy 15 that uh, well this is what came to mind for ripa now this isn't this isn't me just oh hey fucking uh, we're making this up as we go along this is probably what he's remembering now he only knows uh peter parker only knows that he can go from this point because of the wrestling thing 
Rip is probably thinking, oh, well, he did the wrestling thing, okay, and from that point, he decided uh, eventually that he was going to put, you know, money he makes from things towards something like taking care of people that love him, okay? Uh, now, I'm, I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, and I'm sure this is the case, that the question was, uh, why did Peter Parker decide to go and do the wrestling match, right? Like, what, for the money, like, what was the point? And so I guess Rippa did answer that wrong. I, maybe, I guess? I don't know, because it looks like that's the case. Uh, but if you're thinking he has to pull uh, from memory on the fly what happens in this book, this is probably what Rippa was remembering specifically. And so he knows that this came from that. So maybe he's, maybe that's why it came to mind that that's like the dealio. But yeah, um, yes and no. Uh, Rippa has it wrong. But I can see where Organized Chaos is coming from. At the same time, like you have to, if you're aware of the conversation and how things are going and the pace of like the different talking points, then you're going to know for a fact that there's a really good chance that he's not going to give you the perfect answers all the time because of the pace of the conversation and the length of it. What did, what did, why did Isom say that he was going to go help us? Uh, can't yeah, see how I know all you, yeah, you stuck, right? You thought you had me. You thought you had me. I, and we, I, I just explained to you what happened. And my hands are right here. We don't need to Google. Oh You've been my God. Like, the cope you're is, doing right now. It's amazing. How's that? A cope? How's that a cope? That's an how's impressive that a cope? cope, dude. How's that a cope? Oh. How's that a cope? Hey, hey, hey quit hey. giggling and being passive aggressive. How's that a cope? I, I, I think it's kind of entertaining I, myself. I, I love man. it. Why um, is it a cope? How so, is it a cope? Na can you name me some of your favorite comic no, books? No, 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 no. How was it a cope? How, how would I just cope? Was what I said about Amazing Fantasy and why he went to, uh, why he fought, uh, it, why he went to uh, wrestle? Is that, was I incorrect? Well, yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff that you'd get from a, uh, a, a, a Google search. Two things. One, when Rippa asked you for confirmation of what happened in the book, you didn't answer him, which means that you probably don't know what happened in the book either because you could have then said oh hey uh no this actually happened no you didn't you didn't confirm or deny anything that eric said you did it after the stream so you can dance around all you want and pretend that you have it better than eric in terms of knowledge on these things right you can pretend that you know what you're fucking talking about all you want the problem is, again, that you didn't confirm or deny anything Eric said on the spot, but you did so after the stream. Cool, great, I'm glad that you, you showed us uh, where Eric was right or wrong or whatever, but you did it after the stream. You couldn't even mention what it was that had actually happened if you were to even know, right? The second thing is you are saying uh, here and there, Eric uses Google for stuff. Not only are his hands always visible, basically, practically visible most of the time, you would also be able to hear if he's typing, and you would also see the light change on his face if, in fact, he were pulling up Google or something, right? He, in the video, you can see for yourself, he doesn't pull up Google or anything. He, has, he does ask chat for help on something at one point, but that's not to do with this exactly, right? So, I don't know... How you think you can have any kind of ego here? You fucking can't. You just can't. Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense to think that you could. So cut that short while you can. Where you can. So, uh, yeah.